been a while. Welcome back. <laughs> Hi, welcome back to my channel. I'm so sorry that it's been like two months since I posted. Um, we're going to talk about it. Um, if you are new here, hello, my name is Kristen. I read a lot of books. I review books. I talk about the books. I also do reading vlogs and most of the things on here you're going to see are books. Sometimes I'll do like a day in my life. I want to start doing more stuff like that. Um, and we're going to get back on the ball because we've got to, I've got to get back in like a regular schedule before December because I plan on doing vlogmas where I'm posting every day in December. So we've got to get back on the ball. It is now September. Um, it is September 18th. September 18th when I am filming that. It is officially spooky season. It's been spooky season in my brain. Spooky season starts in, Octo in August in my brain. I've had a rough couple months so I haven't really done anything um, to decorate or to... I haven't filmed. I haven't read a whole lot but we're gonna go over that today. That is gonna be the main goal of today is to talk about what I've read. First off let me just say I've missed you guys so much. I've missed filming. I've missed doing reading vlog. I've missed all of it. But I knew that I needed to get myself in the right headspace again before I started filming and get myself tr unstressed as possible before I started back. Um, and I feel like I'm in a good place right now. So, um, the last video you saw from me was all of the books that I had read in the first half of the year. I was supposed to do my favorites of the first half of the year. I actually filmed it and I never edited it. I filmed a book organization video where I took everything off of all of my shelves, reorganized it, and never posted it. Um, I filmed a book tour of my entire bookshelves, never posted it. Um, so, even though, especially those, the organization videos, even though they're old, a couple months old, do you still want to see them? Please let me know. Let's touch on why, why I was away. Um, this might be a touchy subject for people. I'm going to be talking about anxiety and medication. So if, if you do not want to hear that, just skip forward a little bit. Um, this is not going to be a very long segment. Um, I'm not going to touch on it much, but I did start an anxiety medication. I had very bad side effects from that for almost an entire month and then decided this is not going to work for me. Got on a new one. It was not as bad. I'm doing much better on it. But those that month was probably one of the worst months of my life. Um, to be 100% honest, I was not, it was not good. We're all good now. I launched a new collection with my small business, which is J Sky Co. I will link everything down below, but also I have a new shirt. I have this new cup. I have some stickers, I have a new candle, um, all of that is in my shop. It is linked down below as always, so please go check it out. I would absolutely love it if you did. Also, one of my best friends in the entire world is getting married next month in October. Um, so we did her bachelorette party, which was a lot of planning because I was a maid of honor. So I was doing a lot of planning for that. Also, Paige, if you did not know, my other best friend is currently pregnant, so we went to Florida last month for her baby shower. Um, so it's just been so busy, and October is also going to be an extremely busy month. I have two weddings. One, I'm in one. I'm photographing one. My daughter's birthday is in October. Halloween's in October. So it's going to be a heck of a time. So, But we're going to fit in some reading. So we're going to talk about the books that I read in July and August. In today's video. I'm so glad to be back. I'm so glad to be filming again. I've missed it so much. So 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 much. So I can't wait to get back. Like I didn't even really post on my Instagram for a while. Like I've just now started creating content for that again and I'm so excited to be back to making content again. Let's jump right into it. I'm going to tell you about the books that I read. Um, I'm not gonna probably go into super heavy details of all of them because to be 100% honest with you some of them I don't even remember reading <laughs> sorry some of these were two months ago and some of them did not stick out in my mind therefore I don't really remember them very well but 
first really quick we're gonna um i just got my pr box for tempt our fate by cat singleton if you did not know cat singleton is one of my favorite authors of all time of all time put her up there she's in top five 100 percent favorite authors of all time um if you have not read white ties and white lies if you have not read rewrite our story go read them black ties and white lies is what started my love for cat singleton so i am it's right here we're going to talk about it a little bit later um black ties and white lies is what started my love for cat singleton um i found her through Marin moore who is another one of my favorite authors of all time i got the pr box for since our fate we're going to go through it super super fast um i'm just gonna kind of like show you all the little things that i got um this comes out on september 21st um so go buy it it is going to be on kindle unlimited the paperback is going to be linked below go get that book go get it go get it go get reroute our story and go get this and go get black tie go, just get all the cat singleton books also cat always has signed copies on her website i will also link that down below so that you can get a signed copy if you would like um and it usually comes with like some stickers some swag so of course we have the lovely tim darfe book isn't it beautiful it is so pretty next to the other one they both have this kind of like scrapbooky feel she actually hired this couple to do this cover this is so it's so Camden and Pippa. It's not even funny. Camden might be my favorite book boyfriend ever. He might be my favorite book boyfriend ever. But we're going to talk about it later. Um, we're going to talk about this later. Because I have already read this. We've got some different cards and prints. And so many goodies. Some bookmarks. Some stickers. This cute little cookie um a stella candle co camden hunter um candle she always does these in her boxes i have my Cade candle over there i did not get a black ties and white lies pr box but the amount i want a beckett candle is unreal this bar of soap which i probably will never open because it is beautiful and cute and adorable and um it this sticker will make so much sense when you read this book and it's such a good little touch and it's so specific and i love it so much um and then some annotating supplies and then this cup you see this cup you see it i made this i made this cup um it is a glass 16 ounce tumbler with a glass straw and i made this it is a sublimated cup um and i made one for every single pr box i was so excited when kat asked me to do this but this just it makes me so happy and i'm so proud of it and i love it and i'm just so i'm so happy thank you so much to kat for this box for including me in it um i am so honored to be your friend i love you also this clip look at this clip this is a good clip. I can't wait to put it in my hair. I'm not going to put it in my hair right now, though. Okay, so let's talk about the books I read. Maybe. If Notion will let me log in. If you don't know what Notion is, Notion is what I use to organize my life, um, especially my books. So if you would like me to explain that all to you one day, let me know. I really want to create a template for Notion. I've got to figure out how to do that, though, because I have, like, a specific way that I have all my books set up that I think everybody would really really love um I just need to you know figure it out this is not letting me log in I'll be right back I figured it out um we're on my iPad but but I figured it out um so we're gonna talk about the books that I read in July and August I started off the month with reading Fill It All by Miss Molly. Um, I love Molly. She's so sweet. Um, I got an art for this and I was so obsessed. So this follows Winery, Winery and Graham. Um, I'm going to call her Win because Winery is so hard for me to say for some reason. I don't know. 
I'm gonna blame my dyslexia. So when is one of three sisters? That's gonna become important in later books. Uh, so Winery is one of three sisters. They are all the chief's daughter and Graham is Wynn's new neighbor um, who also happens to be a cop. So her, her dad is his boss um, but they are neighbors and um, they have the cutest freaking relationship. Wynn owns a coffee shop slash bookstore. It is absolutely adorable. It's called Crossroads. It's very small town. Um, I loved that. I just loved this so much. There are some triggering topics in this, so make sure to look those up. But Graham is the perfect golden retriever boyfriend. He is so much about Wynn and will do anything he can to protect her at like at all cost will do everything he can to protect her and I just loved watching their relationship grow it was so 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 good um loved this so much I can't wait for book two which I'm beta reading right now and y'all I'm already ha! I'm already loving it definitely go check that out I gave it four and a half stars um it was a debut novel um so there's definitely some things that I think could be improved later just in like storytelling and um details and just little things like that but overall I think this is a fantastic debut novel and then I read Garnet Flats I feel like these were so long ago I read Garnet Flats by Daphne Perry this is the Eden's book three I loved this this is Talia and Foster. This is second chance romance. It's single parent. It's small town, of course. They're still in Quincy. It's also sports. Foster is a boxer, I believe. Um, this was so good. Of course, it's Stephanie Perry. It's the Eden series. I love this series so freaking much. So much. I don't, I don't know what else to say other than I love this series I the second chance was really fun for with this one um this was probably my least favorite of the three so far but still loved it still really really loved it and I read meet your match by Candy Steiner um I could scream from the rooftops how much I loved this book I forgot how much I loved Candy's writing but it is so freaking good. I am so obsessed. This is book one in her new hockey series called The Kings of Ice. Um, I am so excited about this series. It sounds so good and I'm already like very invested in some side characters that I cannot wait to um, get more from these side characters. This is about Vince and Maven and Vince is the hotshot rookie for they I think they're Tampa Bay they're the Tampa Bay somethings I think maybe I don't know but he plays hockey he's a hotshot rookie they call him Vince Cool um that's like his nickname so he's like cocky he's a playboy he's everything you expect to be in this kind of like cocky rookie persona I guess um and then Maven works for a like PR company and she ends up having to do like a 24-hour like 24 7 with Vince Cool kind of Instagram thing where she's basically with him all the time and is like recording what he's doing for a month um, so it's forced proximity it's sports because it's hockey it's workplace romance she hates him to begin with so it's kind of enemies to lovers um, it's also an interracial couple Maven I loved her as a female main character I loved how strong she was she did not let him run all over her even when he was being a little bully, he um, is like the best way of, he's like the best kind of like bully romance though. Like he's kind of mean to her, but like in a flirty way that's really, really cute. Um, and he definitely pushes her buttons, but then it makes the spice that much hotter. So this book is spicy. This is the spiciest candy signer book that I've ever read and it is so good but i i loved this book so much um so definitely go read it i can't wait for the next book i'm so freaking excited go read meet your match five stars 100 percent. and then i read powerless by elsie silver 
Um, and I forgot how much I absolutely love the Chestnut Spring series. I read the first two books in the series forever ago, it feels like, and this is book three, and I'm obsessed. I'm obsessed. Jasper grew up hanging around the Eatons. He was best friends with all the boys and basically lived at their house. Um, he has a pretty traumatic backstory that you learn about in this book. And then Sloan is the Eaton's cousin. So they grew up like hanging out during the summer, but Sloan is a very like, her family is um, upper class. So they have very different backgrounds. So it's childhood friends to lovers, it's sports because Jasper plays hockey, um, Force Proximity, Slow Burn, Small Town, all the good things is in this book. I was so obsessed. This might be my favorite so far of the Chestnut Springs books. I loved their tension and their relationship and how much they just loved each other from the beginning. Like even just as friends, they loved each other so much. They were such a priority to each other. Um, even before their relationship started, um, which I love. You get to see them really open up to each other about things that they've been through. Sloan is also a ballerina, um, and it's just, it's so good. It's so hot. It's everything you expect in an Elsie Silver book. Um, it's gonna pull at your heartstrings some. Uh, was fantastic. Five stars. I read so much on my Kindle this month, uh, these past two months, by the way. I don't think I did anything but read on my Kindle. I don't think I picked up a physical book. I don't think I've picked up a physical book since June. And I don't even know the last physical book I picked up, to be 100% honest with you. I don't know. Love and Hockey? Love and Hockey might have been the last. And that was, um, that was in May. I've been attached to my Kindle. Um, I have a really cool Kindle video that I have planned, um, which I'm very excited about. I have so many cool videos that I want to do. But then I read Not So Lucky, also on my Kindle. This is by Trelina Pucci. This is um, the second book in the Holidays series. Tangled in Tinsel was the first one. If you have not read that, then what are you doing with your life? Go read it. This is a reverse harem, just so you know. Eleanor and crew and TJ and Nate. <laughs> I love it. It's so spicy. It's so funny. Like if you just want something that is fun and spicy and absolutely freaking hilarious, read the Holidays books. Read Tangled on Tinsel. Read Not So Lucky. It. This is accidental marriage in Vegas and then they have to pretend to be in a relationship because of his image because he's a football player so it's sports romance as well um but it is mainly Eleanor and crew and then sometimes the friends join it's the way that this one works it is so good so funny so freaking spicy so many spicy scenes without ever feeling repetitive which is kind of hard sometimes. I, sometimes I feel like it's either we only get one or two scenes and they're different. We get a ton of scenes and they're kind of repetitive. This is, you get so many scenes and they're not repetitive. I love Trelina's writing. It She's absolutely hilarious. If you don't follow her on like Instagram, go watch her Instagram stories because she's so freaking funny. Um, so please go read Not So Lucky. And then I read, I read Against the Clock and Against the Rules by Brittany Kelly. I got Against the Rules as an arc, so I read Against the Clock first. Um, I gave both three stars. I was not crazy about either of these. Against the Rules was better than Against the Clock, but um, they're both sports romance. Um, the first one, Against the Clock, is... Um, age gap as well. It is the quarterback of a football team and he is kind of like getting ready to be at age of retirement, maybe even a little past it. He's not in his prime anymore. And he ends up running over this reporter on the sidelines and just instantly falls in love with her. What? It's so insta love and like that it's almost yucky how insta lovey it is. I didn't I didn't like it. I didn't feel a connection with the characters. I ooh, I didn't like it. Um, and then the second book, I honestly can't tell you what really happened in it. I don't. Um, I know it's like forbidden. It's like the 
the wide receiver or something on the t same team and the cheerleader and they're not supposed to be in a relationship because players and cheerleaders aren't supposed to have relationships. Um, and that's all I really remember about it to be 100% honest with you. Um, so do with this information what you will. They are on Kindle Unlimited. But personally, it is not the best sports romance I've ever read. Um, I don't know. Hello, my battery died. I'm going to have to shift this way a little bit because this corner is getting a little dark. Um, another, I've read a lot of arcs the past couple months. I've read so many arcs, um, which I'm so grateful for. Thank you so much to Sky Warren for sending me an arc of Red Flags. I think I got this through Valentine PR. This is the first in the Cirque de Mirrors um, series. This one was crazy. Okay, so this is dark romance. It's also kind of like a mystery, thrillery. Um, not really thrillery, more suspense. This is Sienna and Logan, and Sienna is in this really small town, and she has a really crappy life. Um, this has some definite trigger warning, so look those up. And then Logan runs the Cirque de Mirrors. I think that's how you pronounce it. If I'm pronouncing it wrong, so sorry. Um, but he is the owner of this big traveling circus. Um, and he meets Sienna at the circus while it is in her town. Um, and kind of breaks up this these guys kind of trying to mess with her so he feels very protective of her um, he ends up trying to talk her into coming on the road with him and leaving her life behind this book is crazy it has so many twists and turns I'm not 100% sure if I trust Logan I'm baffled at how many questions I have about this book there's so many I don't know who to trust I don't know I don't know what's going on 100% but it was so good I was so captivated I was so into it. I loved every second of it. I can't wait for the next book because this one leaves off on a heck of a freaking cliffhanger. But you definitely have some forced proximity. It's very who hurt you. He is so protective of her. Kind of a slow burn. I this is it's just it it's so many plot twists and so insane. I think this would definitely be like a good now kind of spooky time book to read. It's not like Halloween-y, but it's kind of spooky. It's kind of spooky. The circus setting was so fun, so I'm definitely wanting to read something else. Maybe Night Circus I'm going to pick up because this I loved the circus setting of this a whole lot. I think I gave it four and a half or five stars. Four and a half stars. Four and a half stars for Red Flags. Then I read That First Date by Jen McMahon. I loved this. This is another arc I got. Ah, uh, which I am just I just can't believe I got an arc of this um I loved that first night which is the first book in this series and this plays directly off of it interconnected standalone the normal um and this was so freaking good this is Avery and Mark and Avery is a spitfire she is so funny um she does not date like she don't she don't she doesn't date um and then mark is a billionaire and um avery actually works for mark and then mark has to convince avery to be his fake fiance so now the hot billionaire and the girl that doesn't date are having to pretend that they are in love <laughs> so he can try to get um the company like the guy that owns the company he works for is retiring and he um it's between mark and this other guy to choose who to pass it down to this book is so freaking good the banter is amazing the spice is amazing it, it uh, 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 i loved it so much everybody has a dirty mouth the everybody all of them both of them everybody I'm just so obsessed with Jen's writing. This is her second book ever, y'all. That First Night is probably still my favorite debut novel ever. Um, and this is right up there with it. Those freaking... Those Ford boys. Those Ford boys. There is something different about them. 
and I love them. I love billionaire. I love fake dating. So this was like right up my alley of like all my favorite tropes. All of it. All of it. I love it. Great job, Jen. Congratulations. The book was fantastic. Then, then I read Tempt Your Fate. I got to read this early, 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 um, because of the cup and trying to figure out what we were doing. Um, Kat went ahead and sent it to me so that I could read it. And oh <laughs> my God, this is Camden and Pippa. Obviously, if you read Rewrite Our Story, Pippa is Cade's younger brother. If you read Black Has and White Lies, Camden is Beck's best friend. So Camden is a billionaire um, art mogul, I guess you would say. He owns a very, very, very popular art gallery in New York. And he ends up buying the store next to Pippa's to put an art gallery in Sutton Mountain in the middle of nowhere. Middle of nowhere, Colorado. He's like, art gallery. Um, because Beck and Margot from Black Ties and White Lies, they love this little town. There's a whole story to it. Read Black Ties and White Lies. And then Pippa has a small bakery called Wake and Bake and a coffee shop. And it is the cutest thing ever. They are rivals. They don't like each other to begin with. Um, at all. At all. But their tension, the tension... The tension between the two of these. You're joking. You're joking. The tension, the banter, all of it is freaking incredible. The spice. I could fall over right here, right now. Um, Camden Hunter is what dreams are made of. Liz McGuire said it best. Um, I love this. I love it so much. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Cat wrote it, so I love it. In case you didn't know. Cat wrote it, so I love it. I'm just literally, literally, literally so obsessed with them. I can't even explain to you how obsessed I am with them. I've just read this last month, and I really just want to read it again. Catch me just on release day, downloading it on Kindle Unlimited, and reading it again because I'm not going to read this copy and mess up this spine. It's not happening. I'm not going to ever <laughs> read this because it's going to stay in perfect condition. But read this book. Read this series. Read the Sutton Mountain series. It's so good. Ugh. It's so good. And then I read Faithful Rhythm by Ashton Brooks, which is the second book in the Bedroom Tour series. I don't know anything about the first book. I got this as an arc. Like I said, I read so many arcs. To be 100% honest with you, I don't remember much about this book. I know it's about this guy and this girl and he's like a um, rapper and she's a dancer and then like they meet and then but his like family's really dangerous and then like but he feels very protective over her when they meet and falls in love with her and then he leaves her and then it was okay I don't even know what I rated it I didn't I didn't put a rating um I'd probably say this is probably three stars as well I'm I just don't it has some heavy trigger warnings and I just wasn't like captivated by the characters or the story or any of it I found it hard to I was like trying to finish it and it might be that I like read Tempt Our Fate and then read Home Run Proposal which I'm going to talk about in just a second and then like I just read like a bunch of arcs I don't know if I just wasn't in the right headspace for it but I was not crazy about it so like three three and a half stars probably like I said I don't remember much of it so that should tell you like I can't even tell you the names of the people in the books. In the book. Can't tell you their names. At all. At all. I couldn't tell you anything about them. Um, and then I read Homer Proposal by Maren Moore. This just came out this month on the 8th. And this... I beta read for this. So I've read this book so many times. And it's so fantastic. This is about Hallie and Lane. 
I have a book boyfriend that has my husband's name and I'm so happy about it. Lane is the star pitcher for um, Orleans University. He is a senior and then Hallie is Lane's brother's best friend. Um, they like grew up together. Hallie is a freshman at Orleans University. She's so quirky. She's so cute. Um, she loves aliens and like Bigfoot and all of the conspiracy theories and she has a podcast with her best friend about it and she is literally the epitome of like the just the cutest thing on the face of the planet. Um, but they live together um, because like she just lives off campus with him and his brother and her best friend Eli. So they all live in a house together off campus. But Hallie is a virgin and she's tired of being a virgin. Um, so she decides to propose, um, make a pr proposal, a home run proposal to Eli to um, help her just lose her virginity and kind of like teach her how to do this kind of stuff because she's 18 years old and she's never been kissed. Um, so, uh, she takes the proposal and she puts it in the bathroom and is like, hey, and gives this whole spiel because she thinks that Eli's in the shower, but it's not Eli, it's Lane. It's not Eli, it's Lane. Did I mention that they've both been like basically in love with each other t forever? they have. She's always had a thing for Lane. He's always had a thing for her. I love that. I love that it's not one-sided. I love that he's always had a thing for her. Um, so, uh, it's, it, it's Teach Me. It's Virgin Heroin. It's baseball. It's college. It's, it is a man so obsessed with his girl. So obsessed. Lane Collins is so obsessed with Hallie. As he should be. As he freaking should be. Um, five stars. Five bazillion stars. I love this so freaking much. Um, all of the like quirky little things that Hallie does and that Lane does for her is just the cutest thing ever. Their relationship is so fun. Just watching their relationship grow and become more is amazing. It's giving 90s, early 2000s rom-com, which is exactly what Marin wanted, and it gives it so well it gives it so well i loved it i loved it i loved it go read home run proposal one of my top reads of the year for sure um and i'm not just saying that because marin is one of my favorite people on this earth it really is one of my favorite reads ever and i read it like 18 times <laughs> but seriously go read it and then the last book i read i don't know when i started switch from July to August I couldn't tell you um in the last book I I listened to Black Ties and White Lies on audiobook and it was fantastic I love this book if you don't already know I've talked about it so many times on this channel Black Ties and White Lies by Kat Singleton this is Margot and Beck Beck is a billionaire and Margot um works for Beck um he actually bought the company she works for so that she could tech talk so he could talk to her because she is his brother's ex-girlfriend um it all makes sense it all has a purpose um this man it this this man Bex, beckham sinclair is the definition of if he wanted to he would um well margaret ends up having to be beck's fake fiance and then it becomes not so fake go read this book there are five five chapters of straight freaking spice in this book and it's fantastic and it's even better on audio go listen to this book go read this book i will leave the amazon link um for ku and the paperback also the audible link down below for you um i love it um i don't know how long this video is i know i've been talking for what seems like forever so thank you so much for watching i've missed you guys so much i have missed doing this so much. Um, I can't wait to film some more content. There are some reading vlogs I want to do. I want to do a 24 hour reading vlog. Um, so I cannot wait to do that. Um, I want to do, I still don't think I've ever even posted my reading vlog for Keeping 13. Did I post that? I don't know. Um, I have that and I still haven't read the next two books in the Boys of Tolman series, but I did just pre-order all of the new copies on Amazon. 
Um, so thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have not already, subscribe down below. Um, make sure to like this video as well. And leave down below if there's anything you would like to see from me. I can't wait to post some more stuff again. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you next time. Bye.